Hello everybody, welcome to Pro Tips. What else? Chaffs. Finally got chaffs. Um, I've been pretty lucky at avoiding them. At least have a huge TV advantage. Um, he's got a Mino. He's got four guard. He's got a sure hands bull. He's got 12 players. 7-2-2. Two, two. Pretty pretty good record to be fair because they're they're chaffs and they're not they're not completely outstanding. Yes, exactly Wolfbark. That, that Voodoo Mike's argument was the teams that qualify aren't necessarily the teams that start early, but you know he wasn't comparing, say, my early runs with my late runs. And obviously, it's obviously easier earlier. It is obviously easy for say. Oh, he's got a knobble. He's got a chainsaw and a wizard. So, yeah, not not all early run teams are done by the same people, are they? Like, you know, so if you have Ducky with an early run or Ducky with a late run, Ducky has a better chance with an early run. That's obvious, you know? But you can't just look at the stat and say, oh, look... This guy played loads of games, but he's shit, so he didn't qualify. That that doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> yeah, that's true, BZL, that's true. That is true. All, all the lucky people. He could have gotten a babe as well, yeah, that was, that was nice of him. A few people do that. Yes, but I guess kick, kick could be all right, but who's going to take it? That, the war dancers can't. The war dancers have to go sidestep fend. Um, the thrower's got to go blodge sure hands and then all of the linemen have to go blodge so I guess the one turner could have gone kick but um, that seems a bit nuts doesn't it this could, be, this could go wrong this game couldn't it This could be the one. No tree as well. Tree absolutely amazing against Chaffs. So not having him there is a bit shit. I think I'll leave these block guys blitzable for a bit of defence and then the Dodgers can maybe dodge away from Hobgoblins or Bulls. Fuck. This, this could be the end of the run. Maybe I shouldn't have played one more game tonight, eh? It's only six o'clock though. Maybe I shouldn't have saved this setup because now I'll forget the tree. Put Mr. Throw in the middle to get chainsawed. Instantly zunk, I think. Because the first game was against Ogres, so it was it was just funny. It was an Ogre mirror match. Like, what is even the chance of an Ogre mirror match? Outrageous. This guy's already played 54 games. How many times has he conceded Wolfpack? How has he even physically done that? Zero Kanzi! How many is he won by concession? Fifty-four! <laughs> Alright, I think, I think Christopher might, might lose his crown as the most dedicated man in Blood Bowl. If someone's played 54 fucking games in like four days. <laughs> I'm sure he'll. I'm sure he'll. He will. He'll stop hating them when he when he starts winning every game four one and stuff. Click the end zone and win. It does have a. It does have a certain charm. <laughs> Might be some more leaps this game. 
with uh, with like not having the dodge reroll on the dodges. He doesn't have a bribe at least, does he? A lot of guard. Yeah, exactly, Squirrel Dude. As long as he can claw upon people and turn the brain off and see the lovely animation of people dying over and over again like chaos, it's uh, that's good. And so is uh, so is just scoring by clicking the end zone. Right, so if I blitz this guy, he can dodge out. He doesn't even try to pick up the ball. Okay. He's literally got bull, a sure hands bull who hasn't even tried to pick it up. So, I'm confused. <laughs> um, to block him... No, I've got to block both these two assists then though. Or one assist. And then two. I guess he wants me to expose my good players. Maybe that's his plan. Oh yeah, I can go that way. I didn't think of that. Fuck. Alright, no push then. We could do a 3-2 out that way. And then if he doesn't go for the ball, uh, I don't expose somebody to the sofa for no reason. I don't hate a chainsaw in a cage, to be honest. It's, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, I think he was trying to lure them, yeah. <laughs> J5, yeah, I've done that before. Someone has 14 concessions already, wow. Yes, it is very clicky, yeah, Zunk. I've, I've actually, VIP von Steinberg donated me $30 to get a new, uh, or euros to get a new mouse, and, uh, I haven't I haven't got it yet because I'm I'm how somewhat housebound not completely housebound but somewhat housebound due to these due to these toes so um you gonna hit mighty blow guy yeah I can stand him up, that's good, isn't it? Oh, this is a bit rough, got to make a two plus. Two plus without a reroll. Oh, maybe I don't.
and move him there and then him there and then him there so that the water everyone's still screened and now That's a, that's a, that's better anyway, isn't it? Getting further. Uh, I rolled a one. Maybe I shouldn't have made that dodge out. But I, I wanted to make this one. Maybe I should have made this one first. Actually, I want to do that dodge out. And didn't. Tough. The toughest moment. Strength for sure hands, isn't it? Amazon would send me one, but I want to test it. I want to actually test it in the shop. I might get one when I'm just back in Germany, to be honest. Exactly, Johnny Five, yes. There you go. There you go, Johnny Five. Johnny Five, the random champion. Despite me rolling good dice against him. Oh, he's getting a big foul in now, the saw, isn't he? But no no bribe, so who cares? Yeah, he's he's doing the saw next to the carrier. In a Vengabus formation. So he's he's played before, hasn't he? I mean seven two two isn't setting the world on fire, but you know, he is Chorfs, so it's not as bad as it may seem. Seven two zero with Chavs is is pretty much the same as fourteen one zero with Woodies. Howdy, howdy. Classic elf screen. Kind of. Might go down this side. I don't want to risk a 3 plus, 2 plus out. I don't think. It'd be pretty good though, wouldn't it? Went that way so that he, he might not know which way I'm going out. Might not know my plan was to go there then. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for the to be honest. Oh shit. I'm really trying to stop saying that. Yeah, exactly, Johnny Five. Yeah. It does all even out in the end. But obviously on a, on a match level. On a match level, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Because I made, what, six cars? Six cars against Chaos? The Chaos that had Mighty Blow and Claw and Claw Mighty Blow. And I had just had Dirty Player. A, a block and a dirty player and made six cars or something. So. I didn't even realize I made like three chasm. I don't even, yeah, the chop choice race is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah Shohan's bull is sad times, isn't it? Sad times for war dancer, man. He's got he's got one hobgoblin on the pitch, 
and has protected him. Hasn't used his uh, saw, so that's... He's not getting full value of inducements at the moment. So, and he's got Gar next to him, clever. Good foul. I think he's the best player that I've played so far. Oh, no, I played Ducky. But alongside Ducky, this is probably the best player I've played so far. He's good basing two people, isn't he? So, either I blitz him. At the point of attack, or I blitz him and uh, don't really get to cover down here so much. But luckily, we are we are wood elves, so we can kind of do both anyway. Right, he can get there. I think I'd rather keep him down. Because he stands and would be surfed. And then next turn I can just come up, move away anyway. I played this coach other times, so have Hit the gobbles, Jimmy. How, mate? There's one on the pitch and he's next to a mighty blow guy. <laughs> the saw was had a, had a guard and a mighty blow guy next to him. So... <laughs> hey. Yes, J5. That pretty much is the, def the default strategy. <laughs> the jaw. Sorry, it's hard when you're playing, you know. It's hard. Oh, God, he's squashed at the sideline. Oh, should I surf his... Should I surf his mine up? <laughs> So, player in here, one, two, three players in there, two dice him, push him to there, sidestep to there, put a guy in there, and it'd be an uphill block to surf him. Or, could just put three guys here, blitz him, and push him to there. And two plus away. 
but then he couldn't get away. So I could put two guys in there and then one dice in and then run away and then he can one, run away as well. So that's the way to, to keep them both safe, isn't it? That's probably best. Surf would be an uphill one because of the guard. Yeah, it would be an uphill one, and I'd get counter surfed as well. No, I wouldn't. No, I'd get counter surfed as well. So the, the but then it's hard to blitz him because if I put in two guys, three guys here. I think that's the best way. Three guys, two guys blitz him. Then there's no way out for him. So one dicing him, and then he still gets a surf one anyway. So he's just got to do a three plus two plus out then, hasn't he? All right, he's just got to do a three, three plus two plus out. The first thing he does is like, yes, I'll get back into the turn on turn eight. I guess he's got the wizard, hasn't he? Maybe I should have gone three there so he couldn't wizard and break tackle. Oh, man, just quietly. Yeah, he got sent off, didn't he? This doesn't get him to break through. I mean, I guess he doesn't have to break through. No, you had to say it. You had to say it, VIP by case. <laughs> oh, man. If I, if I should have surfed the fucking minor, shouldn't I? It's hard to fucking block anyone. Because of all the guard. Now, now that he's fucking committed. I can hit him. Oh no, I can't hit him. Could get an assist, but no. I could uphill block the mino. Chain him somewhere. He's already facing him, so he could block him and get him around. He could stand up, he could block him. Uphill block the ball. Doesn't seem very good, does it? 
Just dodge people away, I guess. Dodge him, blitz him, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't really seem like a good move. a little unlucky I think I don't want to dodge on these dodges so they could absolutely fail Tom Brandhill time. <laughs> hmm. First action, two dice minnow blades. Kaz. <laughs> the classic. The classic coal play. <laughs> No, I guess I was too far back there, wasn't I? Should have been one forward with those guys. <laughs> he just put his ball carrier in contact, knowing that I can't even do anything. God, I wish I, I wish he didn't have shoe hands. Uphill, uphill block on Mino might be best play here. It chains out the ball, doesn't it? Uh, he could two dice him. And then that you could two dice him, but what would that achieve? Not a lot. Could one dice him, that's better than now, but then it'd be the blitz. This could be a block, uphilling a mino. Push him to there, two two players here, and then blitz from this, this direction to get two dice on him. And that would be the play. Fucking uphill block in the minor. He can block him. He can block him. I could blitz him. Push him into here. Push him there. No, I think the uphill block is the way forward. Right, so he goes here for the assist. Okay, so there's at least something in the way if it all goes tits up. And there's nothing in the way if it goes tits up.
Yeah, he just breaks tackle the scores, doesn't he? Fuck. He could double one. <laughs> Seeing as he hasn't gone for a chain. Wow, one dice block! <laughs> what a shit cunt. <laughs> that was a shame, wasn't it? Two dice on the ball. Didn't get it. I think he deserved it, yeah, as, as was said for like getting the ball, leaving the ball in like that, I think he deserved to be scored on. Yeah, of course it was a mistake, yeah, but it's still shit. You know? I've done mistakes like that, they're still shit, aren't they? It doesn't mean you suck at Blood Bowl if you make a mistake like that. But you would still like him to roll the skull as a punishment. Yeah. Hopefully. Got a reroll for it. Don't have the don't have the grab, so can't do the blitz through. Have a zero tackle way through here, so that's good, isn't it? Um, Depending on which side it goes, I can blitz into him, push him, size up to there. Him with him. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Alright, so bring in this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He blitters him. Pushes him to there. Then he blocks him. I want him to push, push, push into there, so I want to get the assist in there. This guy can put the assist in there. He can blitz him, push him to there. He then pushes him to there, and then get another one. So I can push him forward three squares with sidestep. So I guess try for that.
worst worst possible kick. Um, he can go there and hand it off, and then he can pass. Or is it better just to do the pass? Right, so now I can try this this blitz. Cause it just it just might work, mightn't it? And then it'll be easier with him, will it? I don't know if it'll be easy with him not having to roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got sure feet. But if he wasn't making GFIs, it would be better, wouldn't it? I don't want to do vanity blocks now. I guess I did have skills on the thing, but I didn't have enough block to make them. I, I might have, I might have used sure feet on the first GFI, and then uh, had to re-roll another GFI. So yeah, it was good. That wasn't it, Squirrel? That you made it a bit easier. Might have failed anyway, I mean it's dice isn't it, there's dice to be rolled. It's it's not nailed on to make the dodge through the back line like that. My tackle would have only made it a little bit harder. I don't know. <laughs> You say that's the bare minimum is a move, but it's it's hard to do more than that. <laughs> it's really fucking hard to do more than that. Um I don't know why they just go for it again then. I could try a stall. He's got a wizard though, hasn't he? That's the thing, he's got a wizard, so I'd rather score. Oh, I can't get him off the pitch! Shit! No, right, he blocks him. Put an assist in. Blocks him. I mean, the assist can be with a mighty blow guy anyway, so that's that doesn't have to be a dumb player. You can block him, just blocking straight forward because I don't care about additional blocks. I just want to make it safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's just put him a bit further back. Maybe two plus to score, it could be. Might do it. Don't have to. Though. Um, scoring now is asking 
to, for it to be too on. But he's got a wizard, and I don't want him to zap my one turner. But that has made things a lot better, hasn't it? No, I should have followed. Oh my god, that was bad. No, 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 it wasn't bad. Because now I can do a block and if it's just a push, he's disconnected. Might as well let him get away. Death! <laughs> um, I can't stall in the corner because I don't want to hold the ball on the one turner. Um, I could hold the ball on a dodge guy, but he can slam in dwarves and a mino. I mean, it's really hard for me to turn him over with a fucking sure hands bull. But I think it's really hard for me to stall the entire half as well. I guess I've got to try, though, eh? Somehow. He wants the ball because of the wizard, I've just realised. <laughs> I put him to, to protect it. I was like, oh no, there's a wizard. He can just stand on the yellow ice being like, what up? Getting that removal is huge, isn't it? Hidden mighty blow, yeah, not really hidden. Pow! <laughs> wow, well, thanks for the bits, Toad Hermit. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I don't, have, I don't think I've seen your chat, but uh, hello. And thanks for the bits. Yeah, two on guarantees the draw, which isn't bad. Yeah, that's true. He does only have one bull. Like, one good bull. So... The good thing is I've got a button that I can press to just go whenever I want. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah, well, the special, special weekend ones with the, uh, with the start of the season. No, oh, that was, that was good, wasn't it? He's just sure gophering it because he's got sure feet. So it seems like a thing to do. Really want to stick someone on the ball, but what can you do? Wanted to hit a hob, but can't. Well, maybe I could have hit him, but he's two miles away. Anyway.
So you could blitz him, but then... So what? Because it's pretty hard to think about the combination of wizard and break tackle, isn't it? It's a bit like having Eldril and a wizard, except he's only got a fucking slow and agile team to go with it. So he, he, he could pop the ball, but he's not going to get a swift defensive score from it, probably. Didn't have a scoring threat for a turn. You can be my wingman anytime. Oh, shit. You can be mine. Oh, thanks for the host, Kurgo. You could be my wingman anytime. Maybe I can 2D as Mino. Maybe that's a trap. Maybe it fucking isn't, though. Three, four, five, six. So he needs to come in there. And him there. And him there and then blitz. It's a lot of bullshit. Let me do this one first. I've really got to pass it. Oh, sweet. Mino gets to fucking hammer somebody now, though. Which isn't good, is it? Unless it's just foul, though. Change my mind. Don't protect the ball. So now he's uh, he's up got nine players, hasn't he? Now he might not protect the hops. That was an AI foul, that wasn't it? That was an AI foul. Um, oh, yeah. oh. Oh. 
<sighs> exactly, T-Swizzle. <laughs> Protecting my one turner was more important, I felt. Um, <laughs> it's funny because he's got he's to gotta, he's gotta protect against the scoring threat all the time. It's so fucking stupid. Uh, the woodies are going great, uh, Kurgle, as you can see overall. And, and men up just now. I just shouldn't have said it. But men up. Finally get to do what I've been waiting to do all game. Which is this. So no effect. <laughs> really get forward at some point, shouldn't I? The AI doesn't foul. No, but like the AI... I, when I said AI foul, what I mean is the AI changes its mind in the middle of a turn, doesn't it? And that's what I did. I was like, oh, I'm going to go here. No, I'm not going to go here. I'll, and then foul instead. I actually just literally changed my mind after, after doing the uh, play. That's what I meant. And I said AI yeah, foul. He does have a whiz and a break tackle though, so it's fucking it's scary. It's it's still scary. And he's got tackle everywhere. But now that he's got two down players and he's a man down. You know, maybe he can uh he can commit somewhere or something can happen. But I really want to obviously commit, I want to get forward with a double screen basically. Surf that guy, haven't I? Hmm. Okay. Could this be the turn that I fuck everything up? Maybe I don't surf this guy. Maybe I just break through. Hey. Because to surf him, what I'd need to do, I need to block him first, blitz into there. And then come round and then two assists, surf him. And be pretty safe, to be fair, be pretty safe at the counter surf. And it would take care of a mighty blow. But I could get a few people through. Get two people there, would that work? Ward answer could blitz. Push into there. One, one, two, three.
This is the mighty blow one. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. This is a huge fireball. Yeah, because unfortunately it's where all my protected it's where all my protected players are, so Yeah, huge fireball. You can break tackle, but you can't. You can only put tackles on on the ball, can't you? And he's at the risk of getting surfed as well. That was a pretty painless fireball, wasn't it? I mean, it had to be an incredible fireball to, to get the ball. Now I've only got to worry about break tackle. So that's easier, isn't it? It's obviously way easier on you having to worry about break tackle. And can have the ball on a blodger. I'll go there and blitz him, could then run away. I like that he can base him now. base with him. Dodge for him and for him. Though, although this sucks, at least they're not moving then, aren't they? So. God, bam, bash the fuck out of him. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's tough for him now with, without, with only having the break tackle. The fact that he had the wizard and the break tackle, it was... There was lots of things he could do. You know, it was pretty... Now I've only got to worry about stopping break tackle, haven't I? Oh, and this guy getting cast on the, on the one punch he had to take.
<laughs> I just went extra. <laughs> Did he just go back then for no reason? Well, now I can blitz him anyway, so then the way tackle's not even an issue. Did he run around a non existent player then? <laughs> Hello, Mellow Gold. Um, right, so I can go here. Help dirt base, base, base. He's got to take a hit there. He can go there. So we can have sidestep there and sidestep there. Oh, but strength one. Okay, also two valuable. To care about whether he sidestep or not. Stomp on. <laughs> Fouling's broken, isn't it? If you just randomly make fouls and get removals and don't get sent off, it's just <laughs> it's just fucking stupid. I don't even know what you can do. I don't think it's worth standing that guy up. No, he doesn't he doesn't know what he can do either. Yeah, it's good as shit, just roll nines. <laughs> and I think I nearly one turned and just drew two two. <laughs> the fouls were, were ridiculous. <laughs> Completely. It's, it's, it's such a... I don't know, fouls are just such a crazy re re mechanic because it's just like, here, just get free players up for no reason. Sometimes. If if you ro like roll some dice and you might get really lucky. But it's just weird, isn't it? And also, it's the sort of thing that happens more when you're doing well. You get to make more of them, so it, it even it adds to the snowballing effect as well. Down to ten players, not even bad. Could have appled the dead guy as it happened. To be honest. <laughs> I did it on purpose that time. This doesn't matter, does it? Fuck it. Well, look, I don't know, he might fucking one turn with his ball. He might have ended the turn prematurely there as a test. To see, is he going to let me one turn with his bull centaur? So, to that I say, no, I won't let you one turn with that bull centaur. You'll have to dodge through a proper line. I could have 3D'd the Hercog go, but I just really wanted to win that one and I was cruel to it. Yeah, but blocks... Blo <laughs> the blocks, yeah, the thing is, the blocks is... Yeah, exactly, start. usually it's a gym foul. Um, usually it's a gym foul. But... Blocking... Yeah, blocking is what the positional game is about, isn't it? Is giving blocks and taking blocks and everything. And you know, putting your players in the right place, but fouling's just weird. You just at the cost of ending your turn next to somebody. Like when it works, it's outrageous. 
It's completely outrageous. Yeah, he hasn't got enough players, I don't think, to mathematically one turn. But maybe with a quick snap, yeah, as you say. He's going to try, though. It's harder against this line. I think he should have gone in the middle if he was going to do it. Because now he doesn't have the play to fill in the square. I think he should, he should have done in the middle. I mean, I don't think. I know he should have done. So he's filling in that square, which would have been in the middle one. Andy, Andy didn't chain him forward with the first block, which he should have done. So it was all, it was all, it was all wrong. Um, <laughs> yes and no, Cantiazzi. I did get a natural one turner, and I did grind out games from the start of the season. So, um. So, you know, but now I got great skill up rolls, you know. So I got I got good matchups in the first few games, and I got good skill up rolls. So like it has gone well, you know. It's gone better than other times I've gone wood elves, but the other times I've gone wood elves, I've mostly been playing, you know, four hundred TV down, <laughs> and I don't think I've ever been TV down with this team. So no, I'm I'm not I'm not really surprised that yeah. A decent player with a tier one team getting games in at the start does well. But I mean, obviously, this has surpassed my expectations. Absolutely. But, um, but you know, obviously, if you say you're going to get a natural one turner, you're going to expect a good record, aren't you? Glorious! Thank you very much, Cantiazzi. Um. <laughs> No, it wasn't. Caligo151, Katsiati was the question asker. Caligo151, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Glorious. Glorious. Welcome to Team Fantastic, Caligo151. I got a bit muddled up then because I'm stupid. But yeah, I mean, it. yeah, the, the skill ups helped, the match ups helped. Um, yeah, never being down TV helps massively, doesn't it? You know? It's obvious. I've said it every every season. I've said like, "Oh, look at him. He played his games early. Was never down TV. TV plus doesn't affect him. You know, it, it is. It's clearly good. Um, it's clearly good to get the early start in. That's that's no surprise that it's good to have an early start. But the level ups were great. I've been pretty lucky. I've been really pretty lucky. You know, only taken one perm on the positionals. Um, got a few concessions which got money in to keep them going. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> I could have tried this on another day and could have lost the first game easily um, and could have just taken loads of perms and everything. So yeah, I have been very lucky. It has gone really well. It has 100% exceeded expectations. But I expected to do well. Yeah, of course. Of course, smashing loads of games at the start of the season. I would, ex I would expect to... Um, Oh wow! Yeah, this is the fifteen one absolutely matched the sub name. Yeah, the sub name matched the score. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, I'm absolutely yeah surprised when need to start. Yeah, it, it went it went pretty much perfect. <laughs> totally positional. Mm, not really. Also, he doesn't. You know, he was that was the good thing being able going up to thirteen players because of having money in the bank and miss next games meant that we get to stay at twelve, which is pretty much perfect. Seventeen ninety is a lot of TV. And yeah, look, fifty. I wouldn't ex obviously. I'd never expect fifteen one zero, but yeah. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>